Hello everyone, and welcome back. In the last episode, we implemented our reverse boss joint. And in this episode, we are implementing a really, really simple way to avoid collisions between bodies we don't want to collide with. Um, note that this is a really, <laughs> and I say really simple approach. And um, I'm gonna show you in the bonus episodes how we can actually implement a collision mask and a collision group system. But in this example we are gonna do the simple way and um, yeah we're just using a list of uh, non-colliding objects. And for this let's go to our rigid bodies, our rigid body class. Um, scroll to the really top and here I'm gonna add a new uh, set so right under the calculation of our inertia I'm gonna say non colliding objects non colliding objects is a new set and uh, I think the equivalent is a hash set in Java. I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. Um, in this case, um, a set can only have one object from the same reference um, in, in, in Java script. And that's exactly what we want to have. Because everybody is going to have, well, you can also use a list, but it's a lot more efficient because um, if you search, you need to search, you need to go through the list and find the actual object you want to test if there's a collision, if you can collide with that object. Um, yeah, and that's not uh, that nice. Um, and I think I think this one, uh, a set will have a like an instantly... Uh, result. That's why we're going to use a set. You can also use a list, of course. Well, anyways, I'm going to add a new method, and this will be add non colliding uh, object, or let's say Richie, rigid body. And here I'm going to pass a Richie, and then I'm saying list of non colliding objects dot add this rigid body and I'm also saying Richie dot non colliding objects dot add this object. So when you're calling this one we are setting both of these objects to this list to their own list and uh, also we can't add the same um, rigid body again um, and yeah, that's just a neat little trick to avoid multiple same references. Then we have remove non-colliding object. Um, well, well non-colliding Richie. And again, I'm going to pass here a Richie. But then if, if the non-colliding object list has that Ritchie body, then we're saying this dot non colliding objects dot delete Ritchie, and the same thing for the other body. So I'm just going to copy this one. Um, if Ritchie has this, then remove this object from Richie's list. All right, um, that's uh, for adding and removing our non-colliding objects. Now we are just adding a, another check and this is just a really simple can collide. And um, I'm gonna pass here also the other Richard body and I'm gonna just return this dot non uh, non colliding object has Richie. And if this list has the Richard body, that means it 
can't collide with that so i'm gonna add a um how's this called i don't know um you know what i mean um yeah and that's it uh let's go to the simulation um and here we just need to add in our loop um right there no we're gonna add a new check right here um before the intersect i'm gonna say here if um richie a can collide with richie body b and if that's the case i can do this all right um and i think that's already everything we need um we need to change some things in the constructor again because um we have some other test objects some other test configuration for the rectangle uh we don't have our joints anymore so we can remove the anchor both of the anchor for the circle and for the rectangle and we can i think i'm gonna just command these things out there you go um and also let the stress pyramid comment it out for the rectangle um i think that's fine i'm gonna say the richard body will be a kinematic body so i'm gonna set the mass of to zero um then i'm gonna push that's cool um this position is also fine we can leave that as it is i'm gonna create another circle though and i'm gonna call this circle two um with a position of let's say 310 100 same mass same radius um this is going to be circle rigid body two and i'm going to push this uh two again all right ah oh, yeah and here yeah, this one is it's also be two good um then um i want to add the richard body to a non-colliding richie so i'm gonna say um circle uh richard body at non-colliding richie and this is circle richard body too and i think that's everything um yeah okay um yeah let's save um refresh jump back to the browser oh yeah i need to of course so there you go um refresh this is our new scene and these two circles should not collide now there we go we have a really really simple collision uh grouping let's say as i said in the bonus episodes we're gonna implement um, collision mask and collision groups using bitwise operations but i think that's fine for now um yeah and that's it for this episode in the next episode we are finally implementing our last two joints for this tutorial and this will be the fixed joints and the hinge joints see you there have a nice day and bye bye